Hello there, and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about our online courses. One of the students I'm teaching at the moment lives in Kherson in Ukraine, a city which was occupied by the Russian invaders last year and which was deoccupied, I think, in November by the Ukrainian armed forces, but which is also still being bombed with great regularity by the Russians. The other day we were chatting in class and I asked her how things were there at the moment and she basically said that the shelling had been relentless, it, there'd been no let up whatsoever. If you say there's no let up, you basically mean there's no stopping of a bad situation, the bad situation's not improving in any way. So. I'm sure many of you have the feeling when you look at the news every day at the moment, there's no let up to the violence around the world. Notice, by the way, that the noun is often used in the negative like this. There's no let up. There's been no let up. There had been no let up. Um, we often hear it in the news here talking about the cost of living crisis, which just seems to be going on and on and on and on. There's no let up to the cost of living crisis. And sometimes you hear it when you're watching a football match, when one team is just attacking and attacking and attacking and the other team is desperately defending. They're clinging on for dear life. The commentators might say there's no let up to the pressure. It's been relentless. We also use let up as a verb, a phrasal verb. And if a bad situation or maybe bad weather lets up, then it stops or it improves. So you might look out the window, see that it's raining and say, hey, listen, once the rain lets up, do you want to go out for a walk? Um, my mum recently had her knee replaced. Uh, she had a kind of knee replacement operation. And for quite a long time, she was in quite a lot of pain afterwards. One day I phoned her and she said very proudly that she'd been out for a walk because the pain had finally started letting up. And if you live in a city, a busy part of the city, like I do, here in North London, maybe you might have noticed that the traffic never lets up, even in the middle of the night. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Please share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues, share it on social media. And in the comments section below, we'd love to see examples of how you might use let up.